In this video, we will discuss about how to integrate Quadrant Embeddings with Super AGIS Custom Knowledge. Now, before we go ahead with creating the embeddings, let's just log in into a Quadrant account with your GitHub or Google account. If you do not have an account, you can register for it for free. Now, once you have logged in into your Quadrant account, we'll be redirected to the dashboard where you can create a cluster or you can go to already created cluster details over there. You can find the API key and the URL, which is required to create a Quadrant client instance, copy your URL and API key and go to call a file called Knowledge Embedding Community Blog, which is shared by Super AGI team to create the embeddings for currently supported vector DB status wv 8 Pinecone and Quadrant. You can install all the Quadrant packages and other required packages, such as OpenAI Tick Token and Quadrant. Now we'll be authorizing our Quadrant configuration using our URL and API key. We currently support PVF CSV and text file uploads for creating the embeddings. I'm using PDF file and over here I can see my text chunking using text splitter. The next step would be to create the embedding for the chunks created. Current embedded model used by Super AGI is text embedding at a 002, which is supported by OpenAI. I'll be creating my embeddings and then we'll be reaching a final step that would be to insert or abort the embeddings to deviate class. Now, since I didn't have any collection within my client, I'll be creating a collection called Knowledge. Now we'll be upserting the data into the Quadrant collection. Once the data has been upserted, we can check its validity by getting the vector count. Now, as we have already inserted the data into a Quadrant class, let's go ahead with Super AGI's integration to Quadrant class. We'll be going to Super AGI, then now we'll be adding the vector database. Once you click on the Add button, you get the three supported options. We'll go ahead with Quadrant. And over here we can enter our API key and the URL to connect our database with Quadrant's client. Once it's connected, let's just register our custom knowledge by clicking on the Add Knowledge button. You can mention any custom knowledge name and then the description. Now once you click on Correction or Index, it will lead you to a dropdown where you can select the class for your Quadrant. We can see our knowledge has been successfully added. Now, once your knowledge has been successfully added, you can go ahead with creating your agents and fulfilling any goal which requires the embedding created by you. Just select the Knowledge Search Toolkit for the required tools and Add Knowledge dropdown will lead you to select any knowledge. 